evening everybody, Victoria here, welcome to another episode and to the sunny Marbella. Today I'm super excited to be presenting you this extraordinary modern mansion settled in a Gulf Valley just behind Puerto Banús called La Quinta. Today's house features incredible sea and golf views, indoor spa, expansive spaces and much more. I'm super excited for everything this house has to offer, so without further ado, let's go and have a look inside. everybody we're gonna start our tour from the exterior of the house first of all you've got the steel gate opening up leading you into this driveway we've got the steel panels running along the whole of the property giving you full privacy of the space as soon as you drive in with your car on your left side you've got this gorgeous vegetation following over through down into your driveway you are in your main carport which can fit up to four car spaces. Now following through here is the grand entrance leading you to the inside of the property. Let's step inside and first check out this vertical garden. This is apparently what they call them. And these guys, they're real. Right above me we have Bioclimatic Pragola, which basically adjusts to the weather and you can control it from the phone. We'll see more of that and talk about it later during the tour. But now, let's step into the grand entrance. And guys, check out this door. I was super excited for this part, for the main entrance, to show you this door. So, we open it 90 degrees and now you can either enter through this side or you can enter through here and actually quite easily. Just gotta do a little tint. So now let's step inside and check out this main entrance of the house. If we, you know, if you come over here, we'll be able to see, to see down to the living area where we've got the double height ceilings, the gorgeous chandeliers and the whole of the outdoor space. But first, let's talk about the lift. Here we've got a service lift, which brings us down to all the three levels of the house, but we're gonna use the staircase because we need some support. So let's use the staircase and bring ourselves down to the floor, main floor, where we've got the living area and much more. Hi, good afternoon, my name's Michael. Uh, we're here in La Quinta. Uh, these, this house was built on a platform 25 meters above the lower, floor, lower uh, road on micro pylon. It took about a year and a half to create the platform so that the house could enjoy south southwest facing views towards the sea and towards the golf course of La Quinta in front of us. As you can see, the staircase follows the round facade of the house and we've got the recess lights featured in here and some picture windows bringing in light. Now, welcome to your main floor number one. Off to my left over here, we've got a library. I'm not sure if you can notice it in the video that these windows are at an angle which follows the architectural design of this house. We'll be able to see more of that from the outside and it has this vertical kind of angle to it. Super architectural and looks incredible. And now this space connects us to the dining kitchen area of the house. Seating for 10 light fixtures above, gorgeous wood table in the middle, and that connects us to this grand kitchen. Something I've been waiting a lot to show you guys. Let's start from the fact that we've got this large American island with the bar seating for free, Gaginau appliances and Miele as well. We've got the smart Miele induction, which actually, Dima, if you come over here, check this out. It's touch. So here you can choose all the settings you want. And I think, actually it also shows you time. Have you seen many times an induction which shows you time? Never. 
<laughs> me neither. And here, check this out, guys. Just with one click of a button, opens up the Gaganau extractor seamlessly, pocketing in the kitchen. Very stylish. Also, some spaces for your sockets to charge up your phone or any other devices whilst you're cooking up or whatever else you might be doing in this kitchen. And now, off to this side over here. Exciting, whole wall with your built-ins and your appliances. Now, check out this fridge. It's like a door to your bedroom. I think we've never, we've never seen a fridge refrigerator that big. Now, the freezer. It also makes ice, something you will need in the summer days. So that's that. Here we have a grill, coffee maker, built-in coffee maker, Mila built-in coffee maker, and following through here, your wine cooler. Also an essential in the kitchen. And check out this double oven, guys. Here you can customize. The only thing it doesn't do is it doesn't cook for you. But maybe soon, maybe soon they will invent that. Also in this kitchen, we've got a little door which is connecting us. Let's just quickly step outside to this lavish garden. I wish you could guys smell what I'm smelling right now. Check out all these different flowers, purple, orange, pink. I wish I could tell you the name, but I don't know. If you do know, let us know down in the comments below. But yeah, all these different plants here definitely looks really exotic and very private. Another thing that I want to point out here is, as you can see, the roof of the house, the upper facade of the house doesn't have the sharp edges, just nicely rounds up, just as the swimming pool, which we'll be seeing downstairs. Another thing over here, let's step quickly to this zone and show everybody this patio, which basically connects these two parts of the house, the living space, the downstairs entertainment zone with the spa, Again, we'll talk about it further during the tour, but it just basically brings life into this house, makes this house breathe. What's really special about this house in our eyes is the central courtyard. I would say that the view through from the sauna out to the, to the, the courtyard gardens is one of a kind. Um, it opens up all of the lower floor and the idea is to basically have a property which is perched um, like a nest above the road and um, which has a feeling of like a penthouse in some ways. Now, off to my left over here, we've got the first bedroom which is currently unfurnished. So we're gonna put a nice detailed shot over here and your dirty kitchen, your laundry room. Dima, let's step over here and show everybody these, this laundry space. Oh, here you are. Okay, we've got Miele, washing machine, dryer. We've got a dirty kitchen over here where you can put all the dirty dishes, storage, and of course, the pocketing doors. Actually, these doors are floor to ceiling and now let's figure out how they open. Voila. Check out this door. Floor to ceiling, very important. All the details, all the nice features in this house, including the furniture, have been imported from abroad. Let's talk about it further as we go along. Now, off to my right hand side over here, another powder bathroom, which you are seeing in the detailed shots. And now stepping into the main entertainment part of this floor, which is this large living space. Now here you can see the volume of it. Let me just go here in the middle so you can guys see and feel the space. Chandelier, can't go unnoticed. Imported from Germany right into the space. All the furniture, the sofas, the carpet, the chairs, the tables, this is granite have been imported from Italy, especially custom designed for this house. It feels just as comfortable as it looks. And of course, as you can see, there is space for many. So a nice place to host events or parties. This property reflects the demand for 
villas of nearly a thousand square meters built um, of the highest standards and the most modern needs for people who are looking for the ultimate in luxury here in Marbella. And continuing with the tour. Here we have the suspended fireplace. We've seen one of them last week in the Altea Hills, but this one is basically, what, three times bigger? Four times bigger than the one we saw? It's huge, basically double high ceiling and it runs all the way from the upper floor. And then off to my right over here, we've got the logs. Look at this recess space that we've got just for the logs, very stylish. Take a log over here in the winter, or many logs, not this one, and make a large fire, making the space super cozy. Open up all the spaces so you have a little breeze and just enjoy the Mediterranean lifestyle. Of course, all the floor to ceiling sliding doors we've got here connecting us with the outside. But before we step to the outside, let's check out the grand bedroom of the house. And here it is, totally connected with the outside space and all the greenery, palm trees, total privacy. Look at the space of this bedroom. First of all, it's super stylish because here we don't just have walls, but we have these L-shaped corner windows which are leading us to the vegetation, to all the palm trees, so super private. And the space of this bedroom just invites you to relax and spend your afternoons here in this bedroom, right? Let's follow through here and find even more picture windows going out to the greenery again. And off here, separating the end suite and the bedroom is this large walk-in wardrobe. How is that? So many built-ins, plenty of space to put your clothes, that's for sure. And now, over to the zone over here. Welcome to the end suite of the master bedroom. Grand space with a gas fireplace. Now this is something I would personally love in winter. Put up your gas fireplace, have a real fire going on here whilst you're taking a bath in your free standing bathtub. I mean, does it get any better? No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now here we've got this vanity setup, two sinks, large mirror on the wall, very large space in general. We've got built-ins over here, natural dark marble. Three picture windows bringing in a lot of light on the right side of this end suite. Of course, a walking shower, and this time let's step into the shower. LED light strip nicely recessed in this space over here. And check out this space, Dima, if you can just tilt the camera up and show everybody the grand shower we've got here. If you look up, actually, also a mirror. Now that's a big shower and a nice space for your end suite bathroom. First, we have doors, we have sliding doors. I love that, that you've got privacy. And now on the other side here is what I call a little chilling and reading zone. I don't know why, but this color just speaks to me. I don't know about you guys. It's like Bordeaux and it's in fact very comfortable. A little light over here. Put your glasses on, read a book. So that's that for this main bedroom. And now we are gonna step over into the terrace one by one ceramic tiles with the five millimeters marble on top. So it gives you that sleek look to it as you can probably see. There was a bird, did you see it? All right, so, oh actually there is really nice birds flying here now in the pool. So we've got some guests. We kind of attract animal guests in our videos, don't we? But anyway. Now, all the outdoor furniture, which we'll be seeing throughout the outdoor spaces of this house, is being brought from Italy and made especially for this house from Minotti. Now, here we are also under this covered area, which again is your Bio Climatic Pregola from Renson, which you can control and basically adjust it to the weather. So if it's raining, all you do is you close it off and it actually doesn't allow the rain to come through. It's that precise. We've also got an LED light strip running throughout all of this pergola, which gives this house this ultra modern feel, that's for sure. Let's step over to this zone and talk about this staircase. So let's first have a look from here before we step down. This staircase again curves nicely into the bottom part of the terrace, just as 
the other staircase which led us from the upper floor to the floor number one. So all those details have been followed by the architects to create the combination and the design which was finally achieved with this house. This staircase for some reason makes me feel a little bit like a princess in a movie. And now as you probably can hear that there was some noise and that is because here we've got this cascade and the little waterfall which runs all the way to this wall. And right in the middle of it, you've got an outdoor shower, but it's not a simple outdoor shower. It's a little bit of a challenge because to get to there, you have to make your way through these steps and then voila, you've reached your shower point. Here we have the outdoor covered area where you can bring in all your guests. On the other side over here, we also have a bar where you could serve drinks. So here you serve your meat, here you serve your drinks, and here you bring everybody over into this swimming pool area. Now guys, check out the design, how it just curves at the end. Again, following the design of the house of the upstairs. So the facade of the house curves in this round manner, the same as the upstairs facade, which we saw connected with the kitchen. And now here is your chill out area. Again, all the furniture from Manuti. Let's check it out because we like to do so. From here, you can enjoy the sunset. I like that this house is southeast facing, so you get the sunset from my right and the sun rises on the left. Now let's step through this zone where we have this little bridge, I'm not sure if I can call it a bridge, a little space separating these two areas. Now here we've got four sun beds, a lovely palm tree and all the vegetation, your private entrance which you could use to go up from the, from the street level. So basically it was a challenge to build this house because it's on a slope and because there is nothing below us, just the street. And as you'll be seeing from the drone shots, we are on the top of the hill and that is why we have these views. And that's what makes this house very special. You cannot see into the house from the road above or below, which means that nobody really can see the sheer size of this property. What's very nice about it is it appeals to people who have, who have guests of an older generation. Before we continue with the tour, I'm going to mention some specs about this house. We are located on a plot of 1,932 square meters with the internal build of 876 square meters. This house featuring six bedrooms, six bathrooms, and currently on the market for just under six and a half million euros. And of course, we are seeing this incredible property thanks to Karen Yellen from Cleox Inversiones. And now let's continue with the tour and check out the whole floor minus two. All right, and coming into the lower level of the house. This floor is what I call an entertainment zone and we're gonna do something a little different and I'm gonna run you from my vision of this level. Now let's start this little vision that I have from the staircase over here, which you could also use to reach this floor from the upper part where you have the living room and your master bedroom. Now, entering to the space, first of all, you have one of the four bedrooms, which we have on this floor with an ensuite bathroom. All the bedrooms have ensuite bathrooms in this house and three of them are connected to the outside terrace on this level. Now, the idea is that you come into this space you can bring your guests through the outside space so they don't actually have to enter into this house. So this is well thought through. Bring them over here. Here you have a talking area, a little chill out area. And then when you want to serve drinks to your friend, you just bring them over into this bar chairs, into this bar area. And we've got a serious bar going on here. Here, as I can imagine, just someone passing me a drink. Feels like in a real bar or in a first class of an aeroplane, just bigger size. Nice LED blue light strips on the top of the surround design. I'm looking forward to see how it's gonna light up in the night. You've got fridge, you even have a dishwasher. So you definitely don't have to worry about bringing anything upstairs. You can just make a proper party in here. 
freezer, wine cooler, sink, LED light strips, sockets, everything you need. So this is a nice space to entertain and serve drinks. And of course, in the meantime, while your friends are playing pool, and yes, you are seeing in the B-roll shots as I was playing pool, I think I'm quite good at it, but not as good as probably many of you. Actually quite bad. We've got the light fixtures above the space, nice and dark design. And of course, the same feature which we saw before wrapping up in the space, separating it from the bedrooms. Now, after you've played the pool, you can bring your friends over into the second bedroom or you can bring the friend who's staying over into his bedroom for the night and host him in the space. I mean, check out the size of these bedrooms. They're all pretty big and general size. All of them have floor to ceiling windows. And even though we are on the floor zero, we still have got a lot of natural light because here we have the street level. Of course, we have the trees which give us privacy, but at the same time, you've got natural light. Again, we've got the S-suite bathroom as in all of them. And here we also have a bath. Everything is double. We've got a double vanity unit, large desk, so you can actually work from here the next day after a party, so you can make up for your sins. <laughs> all right. And now here on both of my sides, we've got two bedrooms. Let's go and check out this one first. Again, generous size, similar design, nice beige colors connecting us to the outside space. From here, I can hear the cascade. Can you hear it? Yes, I can. Okay, of course you can. And now, here, let's check out this, guys. All right, so here we've got this little demotica. We've got demotica throughout the whole of the house, but here we've got this convenient, what I call, little thing. Check out the curtains. Voila. You're just lying down in your bed, clicking one button, and the, <laughs> and the curtains close. From here, you can also control the brightness of the lights, of the LED lights that are just under the curtains. And you can also turn off all the AC and basically all the lights in this house. Convenient? Yes. Yes, very. And now, here on my right, another bedroom with another end suite and again, connecting us to the outside terrace. And now we're gonna step into this zone which is connected by the patio which we saw when we were in the kitchen the large patio which brings all the life into this house remember guys so let's walk around it so that would be my idea you bring your guests to the bar play some pool then you've had a good time listen to some music drank a few drinks here you have a space which you can make a gym which you can use in the morning after the party but still we are in the evening then you can bring everybody into this space, which is your cinema. Now, without the cinema, but the purpose of this space is to put in a cinema so you can watch a little James Bond movie or any other movie that you want. You can also close off the space in case there is music playing in the other areas. So you are nice and quiet in here. Voila. Pocketing in. Love pocketing indoors, don't we? And so that is your cinema room. That could be your next step. After the cinema, you can bring everyone to the spa zone. And this is a true spa zone. Now let's start from the jacuzzi we've got in the middle over here with all the bubbles and the hot water right here in the middle, just under the skylight, bringing in all the natural light and the LED lights that we've got under the skylight looks incredible, especially now that the sun is setting down. Now here you would think, what is this marble sitting area? Well, this is your hammam. So here you could actually wash yourself deeply and peel off all the, peel off all the old skin and then head over. Hold on, I got lost. Head over, head over, over to this zone, to the sauna. And this sauna is it's pretty generous size and not only it is a sauna so you can so it can give you all the benefits of it but also you have a picture window showing the whole of the house you must step over here so we can show everybody the views that you get whilst you're sweating all up and getting all the toxins out you've got the olive tree and you've got all the house the blue led lights the pool table the bar so you can see the whole party and the whole party and also see you so make sure to use a towel and now let's step back inside here we have a shower just off 
the sauna, so of course for your cold shower, here we have a space for just a powder room in case you want to put some makeup maybe after the sauna. A nice mosaic design of a woman. Oh, it's, it's not a woman. Is it a woman? You can actually only see it if you're far away, if you're close up. Doesn't really make any sense that I'm a bit confused of what it is. Actually, I think it's... Um, it's a woman. It's a woman, yes. So that's a woman. That's another little powder room. Well, the third powder room slash bathroom and the second shower. So you can certainly bring a few people over and everybody will have their space for a shower. And now, if the dry sauna was not enough, here we have a steam sauna. Right? Check out all the space. I don't think I've ever seen a steam sauna yet. Not. Picture windows, little picture vertical windows actually here, which also give you view to the rest of the house. So you don't miss anything out. So that's all for the spa area. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is a proper spa with all the showers, powder bathrooms, jacuzzis, two saunas, and just all the space. It's, it's lovely. What do you think, Dima? Yeah, it's very big. I love it. Very good. I love it as well. And with all that said, we've come to the end of the tour of this incredible property. I mean, one more time, check it out from the outside now that the sun has set, all the lights are on and we're gonna wait for some night shots. And then head down to the Marbella and check out its nightlife. If you haven't done yet so, make sure to do because it is amazing. As always, we'll leave more information about this house down in the description below. So make sure to check that out and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more properties toured by us, like this one, and of course, like if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next upcoming tours. For now, take care and enjoy your night.